Thank you for tuning in to Distanaka TV, the best and future biggest fight channel on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that like, that comment, that subscribe button. We're trying to get this channel to over 2K subs, people, by the end of the year. And we cannot do that. This channel cannot do that without your support. So thank you for those who support this channel. And thank you for those who will support this channel in the future. I truly appreciate it. Now, we've gotten some very unfortunate news, especially because, hey, I literally just, and I mean just put out a video about Khalil Roundtree and Alex Perea. Like, what was it? Two days ago, I just put out a video. Like, the same day as this information basically came out. Khalil Roundtree has popped and has been suspended. With that being said, the fight is off, people. So the video I just put out, it doesn't even matter anymore. It does, And I'm not sure... If Kolo Roundtree will even get another shot at the title. So what Kolo Roundtree has popped for is D-H-E-A, I believe is what it's called. Yes, D-H-E-A. Um, so it says here that according to CSAD, Roundtree self-reported accidental ingestion of a blended supplement that contained D-H-E-A, a May 4th sample tested by Sports Medicine Research and Testing laboratory s m r t l was uh, consistent with round trees claim now i'll give round tree props i mean to an extent here that he, he he did come out and say hey like i tested positive for dhea now does that really make a difference as far as the outcome of him being suspended i don't think so i think he would have been suspended either way but the fact that he came clean does give off a sense that he's genuine in his, I guess, accidental ingestion. Now, here's my big deal, people. And I've said this before plenty of times on this channel. It's kind of infuriating that as a professional athlete, I said this with Ryan Garcia. That as a professional athlete, at the highest of the highest in your realm of sports, that you need to be very careful and thoughtful about what you're putting into your body. You know, you should have a nutritionist. You should have a, 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 a person who is making sure that you're eating correctly, but also the supplements you're taking aren't being mixed and aren't tainted with illegal substances. Now you ask, what is what is DHEA? So DHEA, from what I understand, is a performance enhancing drug. Now I looked up what this what this can do for men. It says here that uh, it can fight the aging process, boost physical performance, uh, improve depression. It can relieve ED symptoms by increasing a that sex drive and uh, sperm production. Okay. Okay. Uh, it, it can also strengthen bone and, and tissue and fight osteoporosis and, and increase alertness and memory. So it seems like a pretty good supplement. Outside of profession, outside of professionally performing in sports. And you should, like I said, be careful with what you're putting into your body because what a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of these factories that are making your protein powders and your BCAAs and whatever whatever you're choosing to take legally are also, there's a good chance that it's also creating and producing things that are illegal. And for me, I think that... Um, Maybe it's hard for, for, for athletes to find, you know, pure and, uh, you know, places that, 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 that you can trust as far as supplements. Maybe it's difficult. However, however, it's no excuse. It, 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 for me, it's, it's no excuse because you should be paying attention. You should be, you should be looking up these places of, of, of where you're getting your supplements and doing research people i don't know I, I i don't know where these athletes are getting their supplements 
I don't know if, if, if you're just going to your local GNC and just picking up, you know, a supplement here and there, which I believe to be probably not the best deal. But you, you, you've got it. You've got to look into this because what happens is because of your lack of research and uh, attention to detail when it comes to your supplements, it leaves you being banned, suspended. And, and, and now look, for Ryan Garcia's case, the fight was, was not canceled, but it didn't count. He won won in the time frame of, 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 you know, him winning the match and, you know, hoorah. But at the same time, you didn't win the title. So you got a dub, but at the same time, you got, you got an L. You got multiple Ls because, well, this has nothing to do with him testing positive, but now he's banned. The, 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 the fight that he won performance-wise doesn't count. And now we're looking at Khalil. And these are not the only two gentlemen that this has happened to. This happens probably on almost a monthly basis. On a monthly basis. And that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. And so now, Khalil Roundtree is suspended. And he and this fight, this life-changing fight of being crowned champ and getting probably the biggest bag that he's gotten in the UFC is now off. These athletes got to be better. They got to do better. And so I don't know what's what's next for Roundtree. I, like I said, I don't know if he's going to get another title shot. I don't know if he's going to get another title shot at the very minimum, another title shot anytime soon. But he's at the top of the mountain. And now he's back at the bottom because he tested positive. So comment down below, people, what you think about this. Um, I know it's disappointing for a lot of people. I don't know what's next for Alex Perea. I don't know who his next opponent is going to be. Um, that That's going to be tough because I, I feel like Khalil Roundtree is one of the last viable options in that current, like the current state of that division. And so it's going to be interest, interesting to see how all of this plays out and how it unfolds. I doubt the UFC is going to give Roundtree an automatic uh, another chance at the title after testing positive. Um, I think it helps his case that he, he came out and said it rather than the UFC finding out. But at the end of the day, you get the same result. So like I said, comment down, belie- comment down, blah, 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 blah. comment down below people. Which, uh, what you think about the situation, and I'll I'll catch you guys in the next one.